Welcome to D&D Journey of the 5th Edition. Join us in our campaign and shenanigans as we explore the subterranean labyrinths, plunder hordes of treasure, battle legendary monsters. This podcast will be following our gaming group and the adventures of these characters, as well as a few guests from time to time. Join us as we start a new campaign and our journey to experience the best, and maybe the worst, in the 5th edition of Dungeons & Dragons. Hi, this is Kelly, a.k.a. Trixie from Ragnarok and Roll, a sign to Ragnarok story, and Tilda Wimblewick from D&D Journey of the 5th Edition. First off, I would just like to say thank you to everyone for listening to our varied adventures, as well as for rating us on iTunes and RPGpodcast.com. If you haven't rated us yet, we would greatly appreciate it if you could. And if you're looking for more ways to support our efforts, we are now on Patreon, a great site where you can help us continue making more podcasts, as well as some special surprises for our patrons. If you can, please look us up at www.patreon.com slash cppn. Every little bit helps. And again, thank you for listening. Hi, this is D&D Journey of the 5th Edition. This is Jim. Just want to go around the table introducing everybody. Hi, I'm Kelly. I play Tilda Wimblick, the halfling rogue. Hi, I'm Carrie, and I play Galen the Gallant. I'm Xander, and I play Sultan Leaden, the person who just reclaimed a temple. Uh, <laughs> or <laughs> L. <laughs> uh, Gary, I'm playing Thrain Gunderson. Jazz, I'm playing Hogar the Hobgoblin. Uh, Jocelyn, I'm playing Lady Delac Corlin, the... Uh, Fighter with a heart of gold. <laughs> and a velvet gold. And a purse full of it as well. fighter for? And a penchant for low-paid wa- labor. <laughs> fighter. Tyrant. Yes. yes. <laughs> tomato, tomato. Potato, potatoes. Is anyone else Taters. hungry for potatoes? Let's potatoes. go <laughs> <laughs> Anything you can do, I can do better. I, I can, can do anything, anything better than you. No, you can't. Yes, I can. No, you can't. Yes, I can. No, you can't. Yes, I can. No, <laughs> Welcome to it's our. It's going to be one of those days. Welcome to our potato talk show. Pretties. Talk about potatoes and potatoes. In our defense, pretties. What a lovely bunch of pretties you have. In our defense, we've been up since five o'clock in the morning. Oh, yes. I don't oh. have that. Defense. And I went to sleep at two. <laughs> we, we went to sleep at two. We did. We went to sleep at two. But I got up at two. You <laughs> well, did not care. You. Somebody didn't well, call well, and yes, let me know that we that. weren't going. I on. was picking up. Son at two thirty this morning. It's on, it's at on. the police station. No. <laughs> at the school. He's returned from his school. Trip. Mama <laughs> just killed a man. <laughs> Put a gun <laughs> against his head. Pull my trigger, trigger now, now he's dead. dead. Welcome to the Freddie Mercury Mama, talk show. <laughs> life has just begun. Now I'm gone and thrown it all away. Half a minute, it's gonna be ten minutes. Oh, yes. Didn't mean to make you cry. If I'm not back again this time tomorrow, carry on, carry on. Cause it does. Yep, ten minutes of nothing. We have done ten minutes of literally nothing. No singing and humor uh, and, and Peter Dinklage. <laughs> and Felicia oh, yes. Bay. And Felicia Day fan fiction. Okay, so so on the table, the uh, white mini there, that's going to be Gundren. He's, he's coming back with you. Yay, Gundren! We saved him! Yay! Yay. Yay. Yeah, now we have so, two brothers. When he was talking about the, um, the, 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 the magic place where they made weapons. The magic place where they made weapons? Yes. yes. Uh, wave at the cave. So I remember in Glass Staff's place found a book about that place. You did. You did. So I'm going to be reading about that to see if there are any information, any entrances. Uh, pretty much the information you get is the, the hysterical stuff that we've given of, you know. Hysterical? Historical. historical. Also hysterical. Stay on track with me. Stay on track. Less, no more sugar was, for you. It was about <laughs> it in 18... I was trying to do hysterical. The joke didn't work. It didn't but at least work. I tried. Oh, it's the horrible histories. That, that. I love them. Oh my god, I love horrible huh. histories. The BBC show. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, this is the horrible histories fan <laughs> show. I, I've heard of railroading players, but when the players can't even stay on the tracks. Sorry. <laughs> 
<laughs> focus. Dungeons and Dragons. Focus more focus. <laughs> Have any of you seen the 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 uh, Dick Turpin? Uh, but <laughs> what did we just say about focus? <laughs> focus on the Dungeons I wasn't and the focusing. Dragons. I wasn't focusing. On the Dungeons and the Dragons. Okay, okay, okay. 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 So, dice. Gungeon, Hold on, Gungeon. So, focus. Sultan, basically, you know, 500 years ago, dwarves and gnomes made an agreement. They made a cave. In this cave, they, they had magic, and they made magical weapons with some human wizards about 500 years ago. Uber magic weapons. Pr- pretty much, we've, we've mentioned the background a few times before, so okay. just the skin. So Reminder. So it's this, this lost cave that orcs and bad things went in there and killed all the dwarves and gnomes and humes, and, and no one's known what the location is. Notice there were no elves but, to defend it. But Gundren, he found it, and now he's talking to Thrain all about it, and the fact that he'll give each of you 10% of, of the wealth of the caves if you help clear it out. Are there any magic weapons <coughs> still left? Uh, since the spider has waylaid me and stolen my map, I don't know what's left in all in there. Okay. We'd only recently started opening up the cave entrance. So you guys are heading back to uh, Fandalen to resupply, probably get some rest, R&R. If yeah. there's an ogre on this path. And uh, as well, uh, uh, unfortunately kind of drunk on your victory from Cragmaw Castle and the, the rest that you've taken, so you're all you're fully recharged. Oh, we're fully recharged. Oh, fully yeah, recharged because you. It, it took the the elf about three days to get the temple fully cleansed. Oh, delightful! Hopefully, some goblins well, won't go there and, and foul the temple again. And Gundry yeah. needed to rest. Yep, and he definitely needed some uh, some we some did TLC. Maybe on some ceremonial wine. And there, you know, Vita was uh, wrong about the state uh, Unfortunately, of my the, the temple had been empty for, for about two hundred years. There was some ceremonial vinegar. There you go. Yes. So, Gundren, what do you plan to do with your great wealth? I, once I'm reunited with my brothers, we'll we'll build an empire in the mines and invite more of the the family down to take take residency here. Maybe our I'll, wealth. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you cute little halfling, you. <laughs> oh, where'd you come from? What? what? Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> You're popping up out of my pockets, practically. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute, my pockets feeling like <clears throat> kind of like... Oh, that's right. Ha, ha. The <laughs> goblins took my coins. I was like, I would not. Okay. So you guys are kind of drunk on your victory coming back when as you're walking through the forest, pretty much simultaneously... You guys see a familiar group of hobgoblins. Oh, it's the ones you told Walking so. your direction towards the castle. <laughs> Should we toss him the crown? <laughs> yes. I'm afraid he wasn't yes. wearing one. What was he wearing as a marker for Yeah, he was he? Uh, not really. Didn't he was have just, anything. He was, a, he was just a. We could bear. toss him parts of. He was uh, wearing an he, ascot. That's what the he was hobgoblin. <laughs> <laughs> we'll go up and start. Uh, s- well, you know, the there was no crown oh, big enough. He, he, he basically one. was title only. You know what he could have? He could have a crown. He was one of the oldest boys. Ah, 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 ah. Well, I, I think know. we should get Hogar a crown. I know we should go stop singing. Ding dong, dong the king, king is dead. <laughs> we could just to- toss them the royal pet that was thrown in the blender. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so pretty much simultaneously, since you guys are in chipper and a good mood and talking pretty loudly, and they're hunting wolves, basically make some, some noise bounding over a little bush, both groups pretty much lock eyes with each other simultaneously. Across the crowded field, my good <laughs> old friend. Wah, 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 wah. Tumbleweed. So, <laughs> <laughs> dramatic, magical. It's another one of those forest gnomes hiding as a tumbleweed. Well, now that we've retaken the castle, I mean, now that we've cleaned out the castle, there's no. There's we can fight these guys if they want. My yeah. horse. No. Let's kill them. Thought you no, were shooting at him. Well, no, Hogar making fun of him. Eric, is Hogar like staying with us, or is he going to need minions? Apologize. Of yeah, if these guys are just cruising past, I don't have any problem with them. Yeah, except for they tend to yeah, wait. They're, kind of kill they're also maybe an ogre. Yeah. I say we take them down. <laughs> Better That's idea. Him. What if we get the ogre to take them down? We'll just have trouble killing people, aren't like in the middle of doing something. If that ogre came around, they were just doing you know, something. He literally has your name, like, sure. sort of. <laughs> I mean, he's an ogre. Well, he at least has your number. Exactly. <laughs> I created the cell phone, <laughs> and I gave him my number. <clears throat> Luckily, okay. no one else has a cell so phone. So go ahead okay. and this roll initiative. <laughs> oh, they definitely want to fight. Well, we'll, we'll just roll initiative. Well, we I mean, it's almost like there's an ogre that hates me. <laughs> 
I'm surprised everyone doesn't hate. hate hate's you. a rough word. <laughs> Nineteen. Eighteen. I got sixteen. Thirteen. That's amazing for you. What? I know. No. Thir- I'm sorry. What did you get? What, you Thirteen. Get? What did uh... five? That's I got eighteen. My bonus. I stole your roll. <laughs> That's okay. And, and what did Hogar get? Fifteen, I believe. Oh, it off to 19. I never well, go. Yeah, you always do great initiatives, and then fast. you get out there and you get smacked around. <laughs> well, it's what happens when you run out in front. Stay behind. FYI, your range, range DPS. <laughs> well, there's debate about that. Uh, let's just forget about all the times I've saved you. <laughs> <laughs> no. I don't like remembering that. Alrighty, <laughs> so as both groups make that whole hesitant, oh, as they look at each other, it's uh, going to be Sultan's turn. Well, they're not used to seeing the dwarves. So, so is the ogre? Well, they recognize Gundren. Is, yeah. is there a natural ogre? Because there's not there, no. Map. Sorry, the just, ogre is yeah. not on the map. Okay. Ogre's just there to intimidate the Sultan. Because <laughs> we know how he likes ogres. He just loves the Again, ogres. Again, it was like half on the map. I was worried. Over on the brain. It's a sleep okay. now. Okay. Yeah, this comes from the woman we do scrying Owlbear. Owlbear! <laughs> you see an Owlbear? <laughs> Owlbear don't care. <laughs> uh, I, I the book. I don't know. The book. The book that somehow came back over here again. Would you like the book? <laughs> I would. He has a very big fondness for books. Yeah. He does have a fondness for books. pieces of paper, knowledge, readification. Scrolly things. Read- Don't remember that that scroll helped us find where she was. Yeah. I make no complaints <sighs> about oh. your That's true. Lying. Possibly the doppelganger could have gone to her area and shapeshifted That's to look right. like her we and could have know. stabbed one of you guys really nastily. Oh my god, that would be a horrible idea. You were thinking of that, <laughs> weren't you? The whole time. Oh. Aren't we delighted it did not come to pass? I don't know, that would have been a cool scene. I'm very happy to be alive and still in control of Lady Delek. <laughs> well, she never could have actually imitated you properly. Okay. She okay. might have been. So nice. does there seem to be <laughs> 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 each square five? <laughs> yep, each square is five. I meant to that. No. Those are trees, you can't see them. She could never I'm be just as right. noble okay. as you. Oh, thank you. So I can hit any of these. Okay, good. Who seems to be... Actually, I'll just pick a random one. Okay. Um, I guess we're not talking... Crown of Madness on this <laughs> guy. You're going to so cast Crown of Madness on that guy? Well, wait, can I see him? Uh, you're going to have to step around these trees. If you come out over here or over here, you can. But I'll still have cover because... <clears throat> Well, uh, if you can see him, there's well, not Well, then if you coverage. come out right here, you have no no problem whatsoever. But if... So if 5, it, 10, 15, 20. Uh, but if I come out over here, I'll have partial cover. So are you wanting cover? Is, basically, is that what you're saying? Well, if they That's have not, arrows, it yeah. Wouldn't, it wouldn't be cover if you concealed me, because they're just bushes. That's right. right. Yeah. They're not going to well, stop arrows. Yeah, these are tree trunks, because the trees themselves are way up here. Right. But these are... This is just undergrowth, right? Yeah. That's right. just like moss in the ground. Oh, then I'll okay. move over here. Yes. So... What's your speed? Uh, it's 60. 30. <laughs> not 60. Wow! Man, he's fast. Yes, I am. I'm, I'm the Flash. <laughs> so 30 a... will get you right there? Oh. Uh, yeah. Actually, like, yeah. And then uh, Crown of Madness on this guy. On which one? He has a pretty fine opinion of himself. I would say um, he has high this guy? Yes. Okay. <laughs> So, so go ahead and catch your spell. I don't think you just say Elvis. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. We discussed this last time. You have to roll. Um, uh, a will save versus 13. Yes. Bang. What? What did you roll? 13 on, on the, the die. dice. So. 13 on the dice with zero willpower bonus. Oh. Excellent. That's just All of a sudden, sad. you guys see the elf. Whisper and do something, and all of a sudden, the Hobgon kind of shakes his head for a second. Don't worry, at next level, that would have hit. Next level, you get a plus one. Yeah. Yeah. (coughs) Not bad for a level three character. Okay, so it is going to be 
Galen the Gallant's turn. What are you gonna do? <clears throat> um, I am readying my bow, but I'm holding action. As soon as anyone makes a offensive, and when I, I mean, no, uh, uh, you mean besides the elf? Yeah, really. <laughs> it means besides it's not the... an offensive spell. They wouldn't have noticed unless you grow the. Yeah. Unless yeah. it worked. So, um, where are you going to move? Because right now you're behind trees and don't see the ogres. Maybe it will put that way. The ogres? This way? Yeah. Sorry. They're all Hot ogres goblins. all the time. In okay. Your mind. So, you're ready in action for the first I'm aggressive just, creature? Yes, yeah, yes. Okay. That's not in my party. Because <laughs> <laughs> I can see your mind working. <laughs> okay. Just checking. It's good to know. Okay, Lady Corlin, it is your turn. I shall stride forward um, at my speed of 20 feet. Right. And I shall ready my shields and, um, like the fair Galen the Gallant, prepare myself to defend my companions in the advent of violence upon us from the hobgoblins. And I shall say, as I always like to say things, what ho, merry gentles! <laughs> How delightful it is to meet you, our fair friends Again. at arms once more. I hope you've had delightful um, hunting in the forest and that you find yourselves well satisfied. <laughs> Damn, I love that. <laughs> <coughs> okay, they kind of look at each other for a second Was that there. A threat? I don't know what you're <laughs> Did she call you a gentle hoe? <laughs> what? <laughs> uh, I didn't say she did. Okay, Hogar, it is your turn. Ugh. <sighs> Six, go up here, and um, blade in hand, of course, but an open uh, posture, and say, "Where were you? You were late." <laughs> in in, in uh, goblin. Okay. <coughs> he he looks at you in goblin. And just, you know, <laughs> we were out hunting and uh, we we got some good quarry today. And he he bumps one of his compatriots. He's got a uh, big sack tied to his belt with a couple round things with blood soaking through the burlap sack. Filled with babies. <clears throat> mm-hmm. They're going to have to kill them. Well, Sorry. we don't know what's in the sack. It could be wolves. Babies to the brim. Could be. <laughs> yeah, I know. Could be people. And, and if that's and the case, this one over here, because this one is the, apparently the one in charge. This one over there reaches into the sack, pulls it open, pulls out a little elf head. <gasps> <clears throat> Elves for dinner tonight, and drops it back in the oh, sack. No. I oh, hope they no, brought he enough he for everyone. Oh wait, they don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> No, okay. That was, that was a new character. Uh, that was a new character. I'll say it, I'll say it last one. That was probably a bad idea given these people. <laughs> okay. Come on, I can't be the only one so, in this party so. that's looking salty and tasty. I know you guys have. Get in my I am sure he has wanted several ladies to think that he is a great salt lick. I pray the prayer. <laughs> Yo, know, he came pre-seasoned. He, t- he looks really like jerky, though. Like, he's salty. Hey, girls, Montgomery can pray the prey out of the prey. <laughs> oh, pray the prey out of the prey. Salty prey. <laughs> okay, so, so, so what are you going to do? Hmm? Uh, so, uh, I'm, I'm going to prepare for any of them to, to charge us, but Okay. Be, so. be, being completely open stance, like you guys are idiots. Okay. So, oh, they so, are. so you're basically ready in action to attack anyone that comes up to you. Right. Murder hobos charge. <laughs> okay. So, Thrain, it is your me. turn. Right. This close. Uh, it I seems like we're fighting. Your group seems very passive because none of them are really fighting. I'm going. <laughs> hey, I, the, I'm these two tempted. seem like. I'm. This well, goes, in action. After all, they this have slain a higher them. creature, in yeah. my opinion. Yeah. Yes, exactly, a higher creature. There will be no leaping that's, involved. That's an elf now. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not okay with that. Yeah, I'm well, not okay with it either. People. 
One, I think I would have to kill two, them. They're not three, people. Four, Actually. Five. Who pulled the head out of his... Yes. Elf that one. Too. This one. Yes. So I've got one hand on them all. I'll drop it. Um, I'll drop it and say... Uh, <clears throat> and say, uh, uh, let me make sure that's cooked properly. And I will light him up with uh, Sacred Flame. Woo! Okay, that requires a Dex save. He is a low 13. and slow burn. He does not make his deck save. Oh, excellent. Take seven, eight, uh, seven, 13 points of damage. And behind the, the dwarf, <sighs> Tilda's going, ha <laughs> Yeah, I am so ready to pierce these people. With my arrows. All the arrows. Arrows. <coughs> okay. And so you hit that guy with seven points of damage. He goes, ah! No, no, I did not say seven. I said seven plus five. Oh, seven plus five. Ooh. Ooh. Did you say 13? I thought it was... Well, seven plus five is what? Twelve. Okay, uh-huh. then twelve. That's what I meant. <laughs> seven plus my attack. He just expected you to do the math. Seven plus my attack. Math. Okay, that that seriously singes half of his face. Ah, excellent. I got a good roll. I got See, a very I'm good roll. He's cranky now. He is exce- <coughs> excuse me, exceptionally cranky. <laughs> Not for long. He's too, he'll be too dead to be cranky. Excellent. Oh. Oh, I do love it when we kill the um, unfriendly, not, you know, allied with us <clears throat> sorts of hobgoblins. I never want to kill you, Hoga. As long as we're allies. Huh? It's good to have allies. <laughs> oh, Hoga knew that they signed eggs. their own death warrant when so. the two brought that head out. <laughs> Well, that's why I said they were idiots. Yeah. So these right. three hobgoblins so are team. all going to run up there to that tree and then take a knee. Okay, okay but while they're running, where are they taking the aggressive it? action? Running. Because I know that they're going to You can just say that attack. Okay. So I am going to attack the leader. The leader? Okay. Yes. Are they, are they throwing leader? weapons on the move? <laughs> they, they actually are gra- grabbing their boats. Oh, yeah. And it is... A 19, which is a, a critical hit, hit for me. That'll, okay. Actually, it's not, the, uh, nine, it's not not just 19. It's plus 7. Okay, so, so go ahead and roll your damage. On, on an 18, you... I get a hypocritical hit. Yeah, well, that's okay. fine. <laughs> <laughs> so that, that, it's quick to jump 19 on 19 is a critical hit for me, so... So add one extra D of your Don't damage. Don't shoot people! <laughs> <laughs> Even elves, elves count as people sometimes. Especially when they're in the cooking pot. Eight. Still eight points. Well, seven plus a one. Oh wait, no, plus three. It's kind of ironic. So, uh, that she's like, so it's you're actually uh, eleven. You're live a lot okay. I'm just my Stick him with an arrow. Christopher yeah. going a one would actually be the hypocritical. Yes, yes it would be. It would be the hypocritical one. Okay, so. This one, he's the one that's burned. He's gonna shoot an arrow at Thrain. I guess I'm last. You're after them. It's kind of like you dropped and you rolled yeah. five. Will a, a 15 hit Thrain? No. No. Right. Okay. <clears throat> this Too one, awesome AC is currently 16. We'll, we'll go ahead and there. shoot at Hogar. Later, dude. Will a 20 hit you? Aww. Yes. Oh, All no. right. Eight points of damage. Okay. And the leader, who just got shot by Galen, is going to shoot Galen. He can try. Oh, he's going to try. And will a 19 hit you? Oh, yeah. Apparently he can hit me. For three points of damage. Oh, oh, no problem. (coughs) Oh, you say that now. Don't say that. Don't challenge the DM. Okay. And they're all taking a knee, so they get some protection behind that cover. They're going to look up at the clouds. And, uh, Tilda, it is your turn. Okay, um... Let's see here. I can shoot them from there, but it's a disadvantage, right? Uh-huh. I'm going to shoot at the, uh... Um, the leader. The leader? Okay. Uh-huh, so it's negative two? Oh, uh, no, oh. a disadvantage. Yeah, basically his AC goes up. So, I know it's not just a finish, it's oh, just. Okay. Yeah, it covers AC that he goes It's out. just giving him an AC boost. It's a. Uh, 
<laughs> Wait, you're but you're a Oh I'm I'm a halfling! You're, you're I can re-roll that roll one! You, you, you get you to re-roll because you're a halfling. Oh, see, you're lucky. Aha! Okay, so a um twenty one minus twenty one. A twenty one? Pays to be a halfling. A twenty one <laughs> will hit. Yay! Okay. Thank you. Food food. Okay, eight so plus three, so he gets eleven points of damage. Dang. Who were you firing on? The, the leader. leader. Hey, that's another 11 points. We each exactly. did 11 points on him. Don't mess with my friends. No! We'll have okay, to pummel um, them in the face. Your arrow goes yeah. flying out <laughs> and takes him down. Woohoo! <laughs> Just as He's your dead. halfling luck would have broken your bowstring. You managed to flick that arrow right into his eye just as he lifted his eye up. No, no, I did that whole... Ro- no, that would have been a natural 20 if I didn't. You, know, you, you, throw, you notch another arrow and shoot it and it knocks the first one into the target. But no, that would have been required a natural 20. Yeah. <laughs> it was still very still awesome. Good. So it was exceptionally impressive. It was. It was. All right, so... Salt Elf? Salt Elf was the top of the order. And it's the end if she was last. No, no she's so not last. Problems. I have a question. Since I was holding a defensive position, um, uh, is there anything I can do? Yeah. Not really, since they haven't it's approached you. All right, good. I'll just stand here, Look menacingly, menacing. behind my shield, plotting my next move. Oh. And, Danger. Uh, hold it, I forgot. I wanted to hide. Oh, you're going to roll your hide? Yep. But you're out in the open. <laughs> roll again. You got a lot of ones in there, Cal. Okay. 18. You, you think you're hidden. With an 18? Yeah, I am. Okay. You think you're, you think you believe you're hidden. You never know what their passive perception is. 25. Okay, so Thrain, one of the goblins is going to shoot at you. 16 is currently my AC. Okay. It's a good AC to have. Mm-hmm. Oh. Damn. Will a 22 hit yes. you? Yes. Okay. Unless mathematics is for <laughs> three points of damage. Okay. Unless mathematics One, two, three. change. And then the second hmm. goblin will what shoot at with? an arrow. Uh, yeah, shot Bunk. you with short bow at Ow. Galen. Ha <laughs> Damn. Will a sixteen hit you? Just barely. Someone should shoot at me. Because then I can do something cool. Oh, well, all right, but yeah. I mean, you know, you get shot at so often and you're very squishy. Yeah, well, at least I didn't get shot at like 12 Three points times. of piercing damage. <clears throat> As a goblin arrow comes flying out, hits you in the thigh. Ow! And then... Well, at least it wasn't a knee. Because <laughs> <laughs> yes. then she'd have to stop adventuring. <laughs> she would have to retire. Hate that this arrow to the This first knee. wolf... Forty. Thorin's got a doggy in his. Got it. Not for long. Lady Corbin's gonna make mince me out of that pup. Wolf, I wanna fight the wolf. Oh, you're gonna get a chance. Uh, Within range, isn't it? I thought his speed was sixty. Sixty? For the wolf? Yeah. No, it's it's uh, their speed is actually forty. Oh. But well, they're good sprinters. They just can't he'll go take his second distance. attack and go that way. <laughs> so only one will get to attack Thrain. Of course, but they're strategically positioned just outside of our reach. It yes. has pack tactics, so it has advantage on the attack since a pack mate is within <gasps> five feet of the adjacent target. Poor Thrain. The wolf is going to slash its fangs out at you, Thrain. Go for a bit. <laughs> will a clever joke. That, that, that was. Yep. Well, a oh, unnatural 20 hit you. Hits me, yeah. yes. I don't think you realize how clever your joke was. That was a very clever joke. It was. Never. It was. <laughs> Three, uh, five points of piercing damage. Um, yeah, that's fine. <laughs> and give me, mm. you may be good at this, a strength DC roll. Okay. You're looking for 11 or higher. 16. That is okay. high. Yeah, it starts to pull back, and you just jerk your uh, sturdy dwarven legs uh, back, so it doesn't knock you on your back. Take that. Okay, Good and we are now back at the top of the order. Okay. Salted elf. So they want to take cover. Yes. I don't want them to. Well, they already are taking cover. <laughs> cloud of daggers. If I cast cloud of daggers, oh. they may not want to stay in cover. 
True. That, that is, is true. clever. Oh, yeah, you're going to eviscerate them. Oh, so, <laughs> but I, I have to decide where I want to put it, because if I put it here, I could hit one goblin one. Put it here, I can Don't worry two. about the goblins. Go, the goblins, yeah, goblins are, are okay, the cake. so I'm going to put it right here. So it's mm-hmm. Under which one? But it's right. a one, right in between. one square, right? Yeah. Uh, it's five squares. Well, it hits everything around it. Yeah. Yeah, it's so but in where's between, put, put right that where middle. you want to stick right between it. those two. Yes. Well, it's they're on squares. You have to pick oh, okay. a square. Right there. So you're yes. saying right there, and yes. then it's gonna hit. Yeah, it's gonna hit both. Yeah, it's gonna hit everything adjacent to that yeah. square. So <laughs> when they start their turn or end their okay. turn in it, they will take forty-four. Okay. Awesome. All right, for some reason, I held up three. For He's gonna flush. Them. It's okay. You, as it. long as the thumb is up, that one counts too. He's okay. gonna flush the birds out of the And tree. how long does your cloud of blade your your blades last? Couldn't have waited and had to put it away. Long enough. Mm-hmm. A while. At least one round. Yeah. You're <laughs> dropping the proverbial hornet's nest behind their cover. I am. I like proverbial. I also like verbial things, but proverbial <laughs> things are delightful. <laughs> <laughs> like, proverbial things are just uh, the promoters. Uh, it's right. concentration. Okay, so Up they see you have to keep focusing on it? Yeah. Okay. All right, any movements or anything? No, I have to concentrate on it. Okay. You can well, still concentrate on action and then you can move. Um, you can walk yes. and shoot gun. You're an elf. <laughs> <laughs> that's yeah, an excellent plan. That was a good plan. Yeah. Okay, that's fighter. strategy. 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 Okay, Thanks Galen, it is your turn. <laughs> what? It is your turn, Galen. <laughs> All right, then. Um, so I can't, since those two have taken cover, I cannot see them? <coughs> Yo, you can see them. They only have partial cover. Oh, okay. Very then, disadvantage. What? Basically, you see their little heads poking over the thing with their bows. All right, well, I'm just going to... I'm going to go for the uh, wolf that attacked, the, the one that's biting uh, Thrain. Well, they're both... Going to be fighting for him. Well, the one that just bit him? No, the one that okay. just bit him. And that'll be a uh, blah, 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 16. That'll hit. And that'll be six points of damage. Okay. <laughs> He's sinking in onto the side of the, the wolf. Are you going to move or are you good where you are? Good where I am. Alrighty, so then we got uh, Lady Corlin. I shall step forward. With my shield and talon, the sword in one hand, and I will smack at the wolf. Sort of like that. Yeah, I think I'm going to like sort of, you know, pummel shield slash sword thing, you know, into the face. (laughs) Stab it, kill it in the face! (coughs) Stabby, stabby, cut, cut. Plan is to kill it in the face and perhaps not succeed at said plan. Um... So let's see. Let's see. That's plus four. That's thirteen plus. Um, yeah, I think thirteen. That will hit. Oh, it hits! That hits. Oh, yeah. And there was much rejoicing. There was much rejoicing, and oh, I feel. I feel red today. I feel oh, red. Why does it all see red? Four. Plus this is clear four, that's eight points of yeah. damage to yon wolf. Oh, your arrow hits the wolf and His, it makes sword. a... I mean, your sword, sorry. Hits the wolf and it makes a howling sound as it goes down Aha! dirty. She no! throws her sword. Blood and gore <laughs> seeping from its no, side. action surge means I can go again. Yes, you can. Uh-huh. So, um, well, there's another wolf. But it's not within range of where you were. Oh, I can't. All right, fine. fine. Okay, hold to, it. Do you want to she use... She didn't move up very far. You can finish yeah, your yeah, move and hit it. Move. Okay, finish your move because and then use your action. Right. Right. Shoot yeah. One yeah. of the bonuses the is of 5th mm-hmm. edition is you, you can, can break, break it's up It's like Savage Worlds. You can break yeah. Right. Yeah, oh, let's see. So that's 10 plus... That's 40 that minutes, by the way. All right. Okay. And um, we'll just try this red dice. Oh, and for another eight points of damage. <laughs> Apparently the red dies like the eight points of damage. My. Alrighty, so eight points on the wolf. You grievously wound it, but it's still on its feet. Right. Alrighty, so it is... <clears throat> it is Hogar's turn. I'm going to ignore the wolf. I have it well in hand. If you charge up there, you might get bladed. Well, the bullets well, come out to here, right? 
Yeah. Yeah. So I can come up. Still bad. Yeah, remember these guys have. Uh, don't they have bows? arrow bows? Yeah. 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 I'm not worried about them. They have arrow bows. Arrow bows. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad they don't have the other kind of bows. So I'm going to come up here and slash into the the burned dagger one. cloud. The burned one. Yes. Okay. With a flickering cloud of daggers just just outside of reaching you. Mm-hmm. Since I have multi-attack, we'll do this. Let's bring down the great sword. A uh, total of... <laughs> probably hit. 17. And a 20. Woo! Okay, both of uh, The 17, was that after bonus? Yes. That one misses, but the other one does hit. Do you need a box lid? See, so have cover against me since I'm standing right at the log. Oh, it's their normal AC. That's strange. My AC is 17. There's just 18. Oh. <laughs> oh. All right, you're going to kill the this face. Yes. We know the one we should have cast from. Okay, so. <laughs> you guys hired the one who likes to damage things and not the ones that like to get hit. Right. Hired. Uh, that's right going to be... Eight points. Eight points. Eight points to the burned one. Okay, you slash and he goes down. Yay, another dead. Uh, that is going to make the cloud of daggers really messy. That, all of this really? is part of why you, this was a bad idea. <laughs> this, uh, the cloud of daggers. All right, is like, so it is now Thrain's turn. Okay, so uh, I'm going to kick the dead one off my boot, and then as I turn, smash this one. Okay, bring smash them all the down face. on the wolf. Yeah, oh, natural, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> natural 20! So that definitely damage. hits. Uh, a damage. damage plus 1d plus one d of your, of your weapon's kind. Okay. So if it's like a 1d8, you get an extra d8. Uh, it's a 2d6. So one extra d6. Okay, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. You bring that maul down so well, the wolf's head just disappears <laughs> as limp legs just flop <laughs> to the ground. You've been pwned. <laughs> it's Brains? a bagel crusher. <laughs> All right, so it is now the hobgoblin's uh, turn. Uh, uh, Sultan, we you so in for your buzzsaw. The blender that's... Imagine if you filled a bl- uh, blender with tomatoes and left the top off. <laughs> oh, that's that's how it is right now. Hey. Yep. Oh. oh my. Oh no. Nice. Oh. Six, oh. ten, twelve points of damage. It it dissolves the hobgoblin. <laughs> and the corpse of his compatriot that Hogar just put down. And Hogar, you have a fresh coat of red on your arm. I think yeah, that's fine for all of them. <laughs> I think the goblins are going to make them And the goblins yeah, get gonna, sprayed with it. They're going to make them a rout check. Their they, they, this was in there, too. Because speech is free. Mm-hmm. I'm going to shout in goblin. You know what's well, also free? Lying, <laughs> but I can shout in goblin. I can move this. <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah. Well, there's you no... You can move it. Penalty for lying, is Okay, it? so... Shout that in goblin. It is now it till the turn. bluff check. Can I see the goblins? You can see the goblins. We can okay. all see the goblins. This one? Okay. And they're going to die. Fire. And I'm going to roll again. <laughs> you and ones today. I know. No. Good thing you're a half one. Okay, is a uh, 13 good enough to hit? Or, no. I'm sorry, 14 good enough to hit? No. Darn. Your arrow goes flicking out and sticks into the log right in front of the goblin's head as you hear a little like, yo, what? <laughs> okay, and it's the goblin's turn. Run away, run away. No, and, so we can kill you. <laughs> and they are going to run away. Oh, we wanted to kill them. Well, good riddance. Well, I mean, well, I can I... still carry tails. Elf is can very stringy. Since they're running? On your turn, you can. Okay, so they're 20 squares off the map. Okay. 20 feet. Yeah. Well, I didn't take my boot now. Yeah, 20 feet. 20 squares. <laughs> hey, four, four squares, 20 feet. Okay. <laughs> four score and 20 feet squares ago. Okay. Our goblin so, was a problem. So, so, so top of the order. 
Your blades are spinning and you see a couple of those sacks get ripped to shreds and some elf heads fly into the cloud of daggers. Mm. We can get the 25 gold back. It's true, isn't it? <laughs> I can't believe you thought of that. I don't think you're going to be able to find it in all the what, guts. What would you like to do, Sultan? Never underestimate the okay. halfling. It's, mm-hmm. If I turn off the blender suddenly, it's going to splash everyone. Well, it's just... But I think that's only... Splash me! Yeah. 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 I'm not going to turn off the okay, blender. Okay, you shut off the, the blades, and, and various organic chunks start splattering and fertilizing the moss below. <laughs> and Hogar's boots. It'll be verdant with their blood. It is a charnel pain. <laughs> okay. And Galen, it is your turn. Um, I'm going to uh, run forward and uh, fire upon the, cl- you know, the closest one. One's off the map. Okay, what's the range of your bow? Uh, range of the bow is... Hold on, it's like 150 feet. 150 feet? Yes. And is 14 good and 14 is not good enough to hit, right? For shooting at the goblin, a 14 is not good enough to hit. Action surge. Trying to again. <laughs> Firing a second arrow. Yeah, and that's going to be a 21. That will oh. hit. Yay! Okay. And that will be four points of damage. Okay. Darn it. I mean, we can let them run. Yeah. A warning to the others. Yes, but he can wear my feathered uh, shaft as a souvenir to remind him, yet still he'll bear the scars. Oh, yes. To the knee. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Blah, 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 blah. Where's my mind? Okay, so it's now Lady... Corlin's turn. Well, I um, can't really do anything effective against the fleeing goblins. I Die. will um, instead be ineffectual, as is my other favorite thing. Hold forth my sword and say, Stay here, you fiends, and take what is meant for you. Do not run from the face of justice. Would you like to roll an intimidation? Oh, yeah, I would. Yeah. Oh, yes, I would. I'd love Maybe they thought she said, stay here and take my things, and they come back to you. How is a... Um, 18. Unfortunately, uh, they, they rolled pretty good. So oh, damn they, it. They, they, all of a sudden, one of them starts to go... Did they say come take our things? And the other one goes, keep running, stupid! <laughs> I'm in charge now! Did okay. that one, is that the injured one? That's the injured one. I'm the hobgoblin now. Okay, Hogar, it's your turn. Big mistake. Javelin to the one that said he was in charge. Ooh. What's the range on the javelin? Uh, 30 for short, 120 max. Uh, That's really far. Okay, so you're going to be at max, which is disadvantage. Mm, I can. That's fine. Oh, wow. I can, I can actually shoot okay. closer to them. Feet with a disadvantage. So, let's see. remember when I had a throwing axe? <laughs> <laughs> 30, 15. So they're at I think thirty-five it'd be feet. To like bury the axe in the ground right, and then so throw the creatures onto it. Is it still it. disadvantage, or can I even make it normal? Uh, what's the range of your javelin? One twenty. Thirty for short. One twenty max. Okay, so it's going to be, it's going to be outside the short range, so it's rolling at disadvantage. You want the box lid? Use the box lid. It's a powerful box lid. I did pretty well anyway. Uh, 16. That That will hit. Excellent. Yay! Yay! His javelin goes flying out there. Shishika goblin. I always forget I have javelins. For 7 damage. Okay, and that was at the wounded one, right? Yep. I'm like, big okay. mistake. All of a sudden, idiot. you see the goblins running, and then one goblin is standing still for some reason. It's <laughs> imposed as there is a javelin shot through into the ground. So it's a bomb and then, bomb. And then as a free action, I'll look at the last one. You You're in charge now. Forward, Deliver character. the message. The king is dead. Long live Hogar. <gasps> He'll spread the word amongst the goblins. Oh, yeah. Okay. Dead, long so live it Volgar. is Thrain's turn. <laughs> uh, I don't know. There's nothing going on. I'm fine. 
You can go back and hang out with your cousin, who you know, yeah. for some reason, was not quick to join this battle. He's uh, a little gun shy now. I wonder yeah, why. The chill is a pad. He needs a good long rest. Okay, and it is our little half thing's turn. Loot the bodies! <laughs> well, it's going to be weird, because it'll be like going through a, a pile of a salsa. Or yeah, I mean, yeah. basically, if you want to go over and get this your rah. hands into it, you can. <laughs> Okay. It's not worth the cleaning fees. <laughs> sometimes you okay. Do you have a pencil pen ready? Are you ready for the and a washcloth? <laughs> <laughs> well, just a hands and Actually, you know, the verdant growth <laughs> will provide some. She can roll in the moss. A lot okay. of hand sanitizer. So you find one elf head that survived the carnage. Is it magic Aww. Elf? Oh. Might be. Well, and, it might tell us what kind of elf it is. And 20 gold pieces. Or it might be somebody in particular. Stick! Wait, do you know? Don't you know? Wait, they already spent the you five? <laughs> well, not, the, not all the elf goblins were here that, in the original raiding um, party. Unlike dwarves, so we're not all up. each other's brothers. Okay, and you guys are heading off to Fendalen, continuing your way now? Yes. Yes. Okay. And, and when you get there, and on your first night resting in Fendalen, you guys magically feel a golden circle around you glow and ding! And that is a good place to wrap it up there. Thank you for listening to D&D Journey of the 5th Edition, a member of the Creative Play and Podcast Network. And remember, be careful out there. There be dragons about. Are we ready? Mm -hmm. It's funny because you guys like all got instant quiet instantly. We're on deep (laughs) weapons. Got to admit that is nice. It is very nice. I like the stand. Rather than you know, you can't see it's spitty. Right? No, thank you. I'm I'm excited about seeing the table. Seeing the table. (laughs) Okay, so you guys did just wrap up. Oh, sorry. We should probably do an opening, shouldn't we? Yeah. 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 (laughs) It helps. We're not rolling dice, are we? <laughs> so, so two things that, that we, we were working on in our other podcasts that really seem to be working. Yeah, for everyone else. <laughs> At the 45-minute mark, and I'll probably edit this part out. We're all going to take off our clothes and have sexy time. That works really well at the end of the podcast. Every, every, <laughs> everybody grab two dice in your hands. It's, 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 it's. <laughs> dice rave. <laughs> my dice were small. <laughs> it's not, like you, do, it's not how the size it's of how the you dice use is them. how well you roll them. Yes. I you, thought your it wasn't dice the, may be small, but you're well endowed elsewhere. <laughs> I thought it wasn't about the size of the dice, but the size of the dice sack. Oh! <laughs> D&D after dark. <laughs> okay, that was a little ooky. That was a little ooky. Okay, so I think we need a blooper reel at some point. Yeah. Well, he's well, been sometimes here. I've been putting stuff at the end of the. Well, credits. some of our adventures turn out to be blooper reels. <laughs> <laughs> Were we here to get somebody? Oh. Oh, yeah, so, it's, it's so Jazz and Gary, right keep an eye on it when you see you get to the forty-five minute mark. Give everybody the wrap it up signal. It looks a little more like this, a little less like oh, that, because like I'm not sure what that was. And then we can keep playing. But one of you guys can go ahead and decide, and that's a good place to call it stop there. Yeah, if you want. so you can make a cliffhanger like, ending, ah! or <laughs> after the, at the fifty minute mark, do the wrap up again, and then I'll call it. Okay, because currently it's at two minutes, so it's going to be well. You, uh, in this time, we're going to be going to forty eight or yeah. so, something yeah. like that. Okay, other thing you're working on, and then I'll on cut this to off. Get and more of me in. into your podcast. <laughs> This is the Xander Show. <laughs> Hello, viewers. Today we'll be talking about salted elves. Listeners. <laughs> we, they yes, no, because no, there's no, a video viewers, cast. They're listening. They are, they are <laughs> viewing Listen, me in their imagination that? eyes. <laughs> in the mind's eye. In the mind. Seriously, this is the Sander Show. She's a star, and she's hotter than reality by far. Sorry, I had to go there. 
I, I love that one. At least for Alicia the day of Ungar. I have that on my phone. I have the uh, Charlie video. on Supernatural. Yeah. Felicia yeah. Day. Not Felicia Day. Just her as no. a person. Her Charlie. as a person. I, you had awesome. you had hot naughty Charlie and nice oh yeah evil Charlie, Charlie. Codex. evil Charlie Charlie twins dark oh Charlie. my god Codex yeah she called it dark Charlie dark Charlie dark Charlie it's like dark Char- chocolate chocolate that's it's Felicia better. Day she called her Felicia Knight ooh I like that I know <laughs> I love her okay once again we have okay so side track off topic tangent <laughs> we digress. <laughs> I was looking for like three seconds of silence. <laughs> so this, is, this is the Felicia Day fan show. <laughs> All about Felicia Day. Do we need to start a new opening? Because I can just like loan you Kelly's phone for an hour or two. You can walk around talking about Felicia Day. Felicia Day is Felicia Day. Felicia Day. Felicia Titter. Felicia the Robot. <laughs> Arms up, arms up. No, don't, don't, don't fail. Breathe, arms up. Are those arms dance moves? Up. You can breathe with your arms up. You can breathe if you want to. You can leave your old friends behind. Because the friends don't breathe, and if they don't breathe, then they're not alive. They're not alive. Okay, so seriously, you'll breathe better with your arms up. Put those arms up. See? See? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> we got now she's just got one note. Normally she's got two notes. How did you do that? You kind of slow. <laughs> I did. Go ahead and put them down and see if you can get both notes. There we go. Okay. It has been five minutes of this. <laughs> Apparently she's like playing a flute. When you lift that one hand, <laughs> and lift those hands up, she you only gets one up. note. Yeah. Slow. Yeah, down come back next. Na- come back next time where we talk more about you guessed it, Felicia Day. <laughs> bad half man. I'm fine being Tyrion Lannister. Fucking A, he's got the best Neo you know, kill count. Exactly. And he's the one guy everybody hates to admit they like and hasn't been killed yet. Who hates to admit they like him? I love Tyrion. He's Tyrion. Awesome. You get out of here! Wear it like armor. You're the new GM. I am. <laughs> Are we tight? No, I am a huge Game Tyrion. Of Thrones. Oh, yeah. Okay. What's your What's your feelings of Peter Dinklage? He's awesome. He's okay. He Peter Dinklage, Dinklage is the bomb. Yeah. He, okay. You can the train it. station. Uh, Sir Hong. Uh, the, the train station. The Knights the, of Bad Oh, the Knights of Bad Aston. Oh, yeah. I, oh my God! I saw. Whoa, 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 whoa. He was awesome. Yeah. He looked like a little Wolverine out there with those swords. Yeah. Oh, Welcome to the, the It is here. <laughs> Welcome to the Peter Peter Dinklage fan podcast. Yeah. <laughs> We're talking all about Peter Dinklage. We're never gonna throw any dust. So cute and little. <laughs> But we love some Peter Dinklage. Ooh, he's an angry elf. <laughs> we have our fan fiction of Peter Dinklage and Felicia Day. You know that exists. You know that exists. <laughs> there's, some, two up there's some fan fiction out there somewhere. Yeah, there is. Charlie okay, okay. fell into Game of Thrones. <laughs> Not Codex. Okay. Six minutes. Six, six, six it's minutes. been six okay. minutes of nothing. Yes. Yeah, well, okay. it's time. It's time for something. <laughs> Deep breathing. There's always that one guy. Now he's going to titter too. Just do it. <laughs> Mess up your hair. Are you finding this funny? No. You just know that suppressed laughter is the hardest to contain. <clears throat> no, a fart's the hardest to contain. <laughs> Really? We're going to go to bathroom humor now. <laughs> We've sunk to that level. Jocelyn's so, going all zen and everybody else is like exploding. You're projecting you your laughter. Jocelyn, okay. you're infecting the table. <laughs> okay. Five, four, three. Hi, this is D&D Journey of the 5th Edition. This is Jim. Just want to go around the table introducing everybody. Hi, I'm Kelly. I play Tilda Wimbledon. The halfling rogue. 